Well, hello there. St Paul's Venture Playground is an open access space that children between the ages of 5 to 15 can come to and it's a space that's going to promote risky, adventurous play, creativity, um, a place to develop social skills and for families and communities to sort of come together. The fact it's so varied and there's such different activities for him to do and to interact with other kids. It's not just a swing and a slide, it's the ability to work together with other kids on the big rope swing. The real value of this space is the outdoor play space you can see behind me and all the things that that can, that can nurture such as metal work, woodwork, mechanics, um, printmaking, um, we've got ideas to put in a cafe, we've got ideas to continue with our bike exchange and all those things are activities that we're going to really bring through with, with the children and young people so hopefully in the future there's going to be a load of kids and young people who feel really confident at working with their hands and also confident and happy to be outdoors and meeting people away from their screens and computers. Oh, family members, friends, other organisations, local people can come in to use the space um, for birthday parties, for putting on training, um, for putting on kind of workshops, all those sorts of things. So we want this to be a facility that all people from the community of St Paul's feel they can access and enjoy. project is an acronym for arts, play and environment and those are the three key principles which guide our work. We fundraise to get a baking oven, so we, a bread oven and, um, and coffee machine so we can start to build this enterprise of running a, a community kitchen and bakery. Hello, my name is Emily. Um, I've also volunteered for the last few months. I've really enjoyed it. We've done activities like chiselling, uh, we've done clay making, we've done like sa uh, salt dough making and it's really been nice engaging with the children and like helping them be creative. Volunteers are coming in, they're starting to, to have a sense of ownership of the space. They're, they're realising the importance of being guardians of this space. I'm Leia and I volunteer at the Eight Project. I've been doing it for the past three months and um, it allows me to bring my art skills into the real world. The Eight Project is such an amazing place because it shows that learning doesn't have to be done in a classroom space, but we're learning so much through creativity and using art and using other materials to learn and play. And it's bringing a fun element to learning, which is so important that I think often is like missed out at school. Over the last 10 years, we've slowly built a very good reputation in Bristol um, and we're really about supporting children, families and young people through a variety of different approaches um, and projects which allow children and families and young people to get a very hands-on experiential possibility of engagement. The difficulties we've faced are taking on a building that needs an enormous amount of work. A very real threat is funding cuts and not being able to get funding. With um, cutbacks and difficulties in the current climate, we're seeing more and more public services being withdrawn. And in this particular community facility, I don't think the council have the funds any longer to maintain the building, to provide the services to children. Families, children, young people are noticing the differences since we've arrived because we're a very passionate organisation who care about this community and care about this facility and the importance of protecting this very valuable space. Ooh. 
I love this killing. place. <laughs> I come here every Thursday, Friday and Saturday and I just come here every day. So this place is basically like my second home. We love this playground! <laughs>